For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you an alternative for Audacity. Just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After X, Room Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now usually for my Minecraft videos, I use Audacity, however Audacity was messing up for me the other day, so I looked around and I found something actually really good, it's something called RecordPad. So this is RecordPad right here, now there is a paid version, but this is a 100% free version. So I recorded a Minecraft video yesterday, which was an hour and 40 minutes, there was no problems with it at all, it's actually way better than Audacity than I found out. So. Would I recommend this right now? Yes, I would. It's actually a really, really good software. Now, what I do with the recording after this, once it's done here, it's saved to my desktop, so I just go ahead and put it in Audacity and remove the background noise, which is pretty easy because I've already made a video on that as well. So how do we set this up? Well, once you open it up, this is what you'll get. It's really simple. So you get device here. So this is just the microphone. You want to go ahead and select your microphone here. Then the channel, I have mine on Windows Recorder Mixer, so that means if you come to the sound right here and go to Mixer, you'll control it from here. Then after that you can come to the bottom and choose where you want to save it and the saving format so you can put it as an MP3, AIFF or a WAV. Personally I always have it as a WAV and now the save folder, just click the three buttons here and just choose where you want to save it. So mine's always on my desktop so I'm going to click OK and now that is going to save to my desktop after I've done recording. Now if we come to file and options, you can see you got some settings here, I've kept them all on default but this is just the type of settings you can have, so this is on general. This is the recording one so you can see it's picking up my mic right now as I'm talking. And you can also set the voice activate level so that's something good as well. And you can see right here maximum time recording, so you can set yourself a maximum time of a recording allowed. Currently mine's on 3 hours 59 minutes and 59 seconds. Completely up to you, that's just the default one and it's more than enough so I don't really need to change yet. The output right here, so again it's a WAV, you can choose your destination folder right here. Now the output name, at the moment it comes up as untitled 0001 or something like that. So we can come here and change it to whatever we want. So this is what auto number is, test 003, that is because I've already recorded twice using this software so it's going to be a third time. And then of course you can see here just reset the number to zero, which means now if we press view sample it's going to be zero 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 so we can call that whatever we want at the start just make sure you have auto number on the end or ss it's completely up to you now the transmit you really don't need to mess with any of this but if you know what you're doing if you know if you need to do it then you can go ahead and mess with this because you see it's got ftp server and stuff like that you can go and mess with that and then we have hotkeys now hotkeys of course what you can use to start recording so if we press add right here so you can see straight away a command to start recording and we're going to change a key so to start recording what I'm going to do is make sure it is the plus button so now if we press OK it's going to be added right here so if we come right here and we press the plus button it's going to start recording and it's that simple and another feature that I like about this you can see it's nice clear layout and I like that you get to see your voice so you can see if you're really loud if you're just right or if it's just overly loud or really quiet and you can see it even tells you the space you have left of recording and it's got a little bar here which looks nice then of course here you got this little recording time where it tells you how long you've been recording and now we don't have a hotkey set up to stop recording so we're just gonna have to go and press stop and you can see there it is right there and you can also come to recordings and it'll take you right to it there it is and you click save as and then you can just go ahead and save it wherever you'd like so it's a really good little program and it's a really small program as well, I like to have it on my second monitor at the same time while I'm recording. So yeah, first time using it yesterday and I am very very impressed with this software. Now to be honest, I don't actually know what the full version does for you. So right now I'm using the free version, it's been good for me. I don't need the full version, there's no need to get the full version. So it's a really good piece of software, again it's called RecordPad and 100% free really good. So anyway that is it for this video, hopefully you have enjoyed it and hopefully I have given you another alternative 
for Audacity. Like I said, I started the video for a requested tutorial on Tony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, and Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter or I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'm posting. Also, be sure to go and check out my gaming channel post three to four times a week. And finally, be sure to go and add me on Snapchat, which you want to do throughout my day. So, yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.